What's up guys, Hacky Dude 1940 here and we are back with episode 6 of our New York Rangers 2014-15 season. In this episode we are going to be playing the Carolina Hurricanes. And the player to watch for us tonight, uh, it's going to have to be Rick Nash. He's played 4 games so far, not a single point. So uh, not quite like the real NHL, and the real NHL he's doing amazing right now. But uh, we're going to have to start doing better in this series. We're 2-2, two and two, not a terrible start, but... Uh, this is definitely a must-win for us. The Carolina Hurricanes, definitely a winnable game. We're at the Garden. This is our chance in front of 18,000 people. Not a seat empty. And there he is, Rick Nash. Got to get some points in this game. Anton Kudobin is their starter. Oh, look at that goals against average, 6.10. Not too great. But then Henrik Lundqvist, 1.72 goals against average, 0.929 save percentage. He's been amazing for us. But uh, we're just not scoring enough goals. Look at that. They're 1-2-0. So we're doing better than the Hurricanes. we got to uh, got to keep that going. Oh, that was a weird pass. All right. Oh, they're coming out hard. Even Alexander Semin's hitting. All right, there we go. Forcing to dump it. All right, Girardi up. Marty saint we? Oh, bad pass. Oh, Andre Scarra. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Skinner. All right. So they're definitely pressuring us right off the bat. Definitely coming out better than we are. Oh, step on. Oh, smack that in. Oh, I meant to uh, slap it in. Man, they're playing well so far. Carolina. Right, McDonough. He's injured right now, but not in this game. There we go. Oh, we haven't had a single injury so far. I'm pretty sure as I'm playing the games, injuries aren't going to be that common. Uh, simulation, they're pretty common, but playing the game normally, I don't think there's going to be many injuries. Hopefully not. Uh, McDonough. Oh, back to step on. I think it'd be pretty cool if there were some injuries, actually. It's just more realistic. Oh, St. Louis. Ah, oh. Come on. Get in there. Ah, oh, St. Louis is the only, only guy left out there. And McDonough. Oh, no. McDonough's at the end of his shift. He's got to get off. He's been out there the entire first period so far. Oh, nice. Nice, uh, nice interception there, Broussard. Broussard, look over. There we go. Oh, Zuccarello, you got to pick that up. Oh, Broussard, get it in. Zuccarello. Bacon slapper. Oh, no. Oh, who is it? Oh, Dan Boyle. Oh, right over the net. Zuccarello. Step in for another one. Oh, man. The Rangers' most recent game was uh, against the Philadelphia Flyers. That was a great game. I mean, the Rangers, we got embarrassed by the Tampa Bay Lightning. 5-1. to one. It was a horrible game. Um, it was absolutely embarrassing. But uh, we played amazing against the Flyers. Whatever it is. Uh, with the Flyers at the Garden, they just can't beat us at the Garden. I, I forget what it was. I think it was like, we beat them at the Garden the past like nine times or something like that. So, uh, it's crazy. But, um, but, yeah, the Rangers, I was very impressed with how the Rangers played in that game. They came out uh, amazingly. Steve Mason made some nice saves, and they hit the post a couple times. That game could have been 6 nothing. They, uh, they, they played great in that game. And uh, how about Cam Talbot? Got like a 33 save shutout. His first win of the season. Pretty great. But, uh, but yeah, very good game for the Rangers. All right, Haglin. Oh, right there. Oh, Stempniak. So close. Oh, I tried to slap it there. Oh, Moore, what are you doing? Turn around. I had no idea how many teams Dominic Moore played for. Like, I, I remembered him in his early years with the Rangers, like when he was a rookie. And then they got rid of him. Uh, but I, I had no idea how many teams he, he was with. I mean, he was with Buffalo, Toronto, Florida. I mean, I remember San Jose and Tampa, but I, I don't remember, like, Buffalo, Toronto, Florida, all those teams. I had no idea he played for them. Minnesota, I think, too. Played for quite a, quite a few teams. Oh, Duclair. I don't know how that was onside, but, oh, Ryan Malone. That was a terrible shot. Or oh, JT Miller. Oh, if there was one player that I think the Rangers are going to trade by the end of the season, it's J.T. Miller. He just, for whatever the reason, he just hasn't fit into the Rangers system and management. He just hasn't fit. Um, I'm not sure if it's just because they're they're rushing him, rushing his, his um, rushing, I, I don't know what the word is, uh, just rushing him a little bit uh, by, you know, into the NHL by putting, giving him like third line minutes or whatever. But uh, he, we've get, he's gotten so many chances since, like, 2013. Uh, he even had some playoff time last year, and he just has not done anything. So uh, I'll say the way in the last few, few seconds. 
Oh, more stall get on that. Yeah, but uh, JT Miller, he just hasn't really worked out for the Rangers. It's kind of we've had some rookies like that in the past. I mean, Bobby Sanguinetti never really worked out. Matt Gilroy was a bust. Um, Michael Delzato was a good defenseman, but in the long run, he just didn't quite work out. Um, but as far as players that never really broke out, um, I'm trying to think now. I think Bobby Sanguinetti and Matt Gilroy are two big examples. Um, but yeah, Miller, he just hasn't, he's just not reaching his uh, potential. I mean, he's still young, but I don't know, he's just not quite fitting on the Rangers right now. So I, I could definitely see, if I had to pick one player that the Rangers traded the, by the end of the year, it's definitely JT Miller. I don't know what they could get for him, probably just like a third or fourth round pick. But, uh, but yeah, if I had to pick one guy, it would probably be him. But I, I, I'm not saying I want them to trade him. I would love for them to hang on to him and give him a couple more years. But uh, but just if I were to guess, one player that they would deal. All right, Saint Louis. Oh, Saint Louis, that patience. Oh, man, he was stopped. Uh, but uh, there was one shot that Marty Saint Louis uh, took against Steve Mason, and it was an, an amazing move. Um, it was the one that he, I've seen him pull off a couple times in Tampa Bay where he, like, cuts in. I'll try to, I'll try to do it. Um... Ah, that, that, that's what happens every single time I try to make a specific move. I end up icing it or something. But he, like, came in. He comes in on his backhand with the defender on his back, like, on his side. And then he, like, cuts to the bear, like center, like, across the defender's body and tries to shoot at top blocker. Or, in this case, top glove because Mason's uh, lefty. But uh, it, it was it was just an amazing move. But uh, Mason was able to, to stop it. Oh, Toulouse, all oh, nice save one because that short side shot. Thought it was going in for sure. Alright, I gotta focus on the game now. Alright, Girardi. Oh, Girardi, get that. Oh, pick it up. There you go. Come on, come on Captain McDonough. McDonough's gotta get back in the lineup, man. But I saw the uh, the All-Star fan vote was uh, released. I'm pretty sure it's the same that it is every year. Like, the fans vote for the top line, and then the rest are picked by the actual NHL. I think it's good. I'm, I'm glad they don't let you vote the entire roster. That'd be ridiculous. But, um, but yeah, I, I, as far as the Rangers, I would say Rick Nash gets in. Um, but right now I would say only Rick Nash. I mean, St. Louis has been doing good, but I wouldn't say top 12 in the Eastern Conference for forwards. Um, guys like Ryan McDonough and Henrik Lundqvist, I think could make it, but, uh, they definitely have to turn it around. By that, I mean, not saying based on what they've done. I mean, they, they have the potential. They have the ability to make it. Um, they, they do well. Oh, man. We have a goalie pull. Uh, is it a delayed penalty? I hope it is. It's not, then I'm, I'm just an idiot and I accidentally put the goalie. Oh, shoot it. Oh, step on. Shoot it. Oh, it's right there. They, they can't touch it. Cry to throw it on net. Oh, wider than that. Get get in there, Cryer. Oh, I picked it up. That power play. Who was it? Jordan Stahl. All right. But yeah, McDonough has had a bad start, uh, and then followed by an injury, and then Lundquist. He's, uh, he's gotten us some wins. He's got some shutouts, but I mean... He doesn't have the greatest numbers as far as save percentage and goals against average, so he's gotta he's definitely gotta get better, uh, if he wants to make that all star game. But Lundquist, he's always a, a second half of the season type of player. Second half of the season playoff performer, which is fine with me. But uh but I mean uh Lundquist, he's he's definitely he definitely has the skill to get a forty win season, hopefully he can get it one of these years. Well that was a horrible pass, say that we and uh, another thing I noticed... Oh, I didn't mean to hit him. Oh, that's not a penalty. Okay, it's not. Um, but one thing I really noticed against Philly, which I love... Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, the Rangers' power play... Um, ever since I started watching the Rangers, the Rangers' power play has just not been very good at all. We've always been the bottom of the league for the power play. Um, oh, stall. Oh, man, I, I thought that was going to be a goal. Kreider. Oh, wh where are you, Boyle? Uh, just as I'm talking about you, you go off sides for no reason. Um... But uh, even after we got Brad Richards, our power play just, no matter who we bring in, our power play just has not gotten better. Um, but Dan Boyle, man, he is amazing with Marty St. Louis on the power play. I mean, Marty St. Louis and Dan Boyle on that power play is so fun to watch. They, they, they just move the puck so well with each other and just around getting the defenders chasing it. It's, uh, it's really fun to watch. But uh, yeah, so they're doing really well. On that power play. I really like Dan Boyle so far. For the Rangers. Come on, Kreider. 
And almost the end of the second. No goals have been scored. Come on. At least get a point out of this game. But come on, Boyle. Oh, and actually, uh, when the things came up at the beginning of the game, like the leaders, Dan Boyle is actually leading us in hits right now for this team. But come on, McDonough. McDonough, the captain. It's a Stempniak. Stempniak cuts, waits. Over. Oh, uh, Haglin, get there. There you go, right in front of Dominic Moore. Oh, come on, Moore. Now, John Moore. Oh, picked off by Stempniak. Coming the other way. One-handed. Oh, gets around. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to pull off the back end that he did against us with Pittsburgh. Oh, get that, Stempniak. Oh, he threw it on his own net. Oh. Oh, and uh, what I thought was really funny was when uh, Coburn and Tanner Glass went behind the net to get the puck, and Steve Mason was there, and Mason got hit uh, in the head and went down, and, like, his neck snapped. And, well, not snapped, but, like, jerked to the side. And uh, Wayne Simmons started going after Tanner Glass because he thought Glass hit him, but it was actually Braden Gower and that took out his own goalie, so I thought that was kind of funny. Ah, Philly. <laughs> Play them twice, actually, Black Friday and then that following Saturday, home and home, so that will be really fun to watch. All right, come on, get that. Ah, oh, couldn't get it at the end. Yeah, the clock is still, like, broken. The, uh, the horn went with three seconds left. <laughs> And then the rush just ticked off. Wow. So not a very offensive game, that's for sure. Passing per percentage is terrible for both teams. The shots, only 8-6 to six after two periods. Yeah, not uh, even... Uh, only only eight face-offs in two periods. So th this is definitely a, a very quick game. This game has gone very quick. We're only 12 minutes into this. But uh, we've definitely got to start scoring some goals now. This is, uh, this is a game we have to win now. I mean, one goal away. Uh, over to Nash. Nash. Oh, St. Louis. Oh, my God, St. Louis. got to put that in. Uh, I pressed the pass button too quick. All right, Nash, turn around. Look at that, Morty. Man, this line's got to get going. We're going to have to make some changes to that first line. Maybe uh, move, move down Nash or something. Just swap out the, uh, the top six forwards. Oh, Nash. Across to St. Louis. Oh, and that goal by Nash, too, was great. Those passes from Stepan and St. Louis. For those of you that uh, saw the game or saw the highlights. Very nice goal. Right, come on, St. Louis. St. Louis waits. Deeks fires. Oh, oh, didn't get through. Oh, St. Louis. Oh, no. Girardi. Fire it. Girardi. Oh, five hole. Oh, St. Louis. No. Oh, we just can't get one. We're definitely the better team right now. Come on, Girardi. Keep him to the outside. Oh, boy, he got in. Right, good job, Cryer. Ah, oh, no. Our passes are just so bad this game. Our guys just aren't picking it up. Don't let them get in the zone. There you go. Force them to dump it. They can't score when they're dumping it in like that. I know how to get it out. There we go, Kreider. Go, Kreider. Get all the way in. Stop. Oh, get up. Oh, come on, Kreider. You gotta stay up. Oh, Stall, where are you going? Don't pinch like that. That's off size. Talusti? You can't do that. All right, Dominic Moore. Look at that. <laughs> Ryan McDonough, 31, to uh, 31 minutes. Time on ice. Pretty crazy. You can say we're overworking him a bit. Stahl, see, get in there. There you go. Mark Stahl. To Stempniak. Stempniak cuts, waits. Dominic Moore fires. <laughs> I just can't pull off that goal. I can't score anything in the Hurricanes in this game. All right, come on, Stahl. Just go. Just go, Stalzy. There you go. Just get it on that. Oh, nice play. Get in there. Oh, come on. How did two guys go in there and nobody comes out with it? One of our forwards better be back. Stall going end to end. Stall. Oh, what a play by Stall. Good play. Lundquist. Kevin Klein. Look at this guy go. He's already matched his career high for goals this season. Pretty good. Oh, JT Miller. Get him there. Oh, there you go. Anthony Duclair. Oh, he's looking for his first NHL goal. He couldn't get it. Oh, Anthony Duclair. Breakaway. He had it. Could have been the game winner. His first career NHL goal it didn't work. And by the way, when I'm saying first goal, I mean for like this season. I'm not saying like for real life. I know he's already scored his first goal. All right, come on, Duclair. You got to get that first goal. Oh, my God. And then he gets dumped on his back. It's all right, Duclair. Get back up. Try again next time. John Moore. Oh, I got to get that more. Oh, come on. No, this, is, this isn't going to happen. You guys aren't going to score in the last two minutes of the game. Not going to happen. 
Oh, the crowd's cheering us on. They're chanting, let's go Rangers. Zuccarello cuts right in between them. Oh, and he gets, oh, <laughs> he just gets taken out. Oh, that's alright, Zuccarello. Alright, McDonough cut him off. There you go. Klein. Oh, I don't like this. Alexander Semin. Oh, nice block. Oh, McDonough got beat. McDonough got beat. Oh, nice hit. Oh, how's that a penalty? How is that a penalty? I hit him. Oh, this isn't going to happen like this. It's not going to happen like this. McDonough, where are you going, dude? Very bad shift from McDonough. He, it, does, does he have, like, head injury or something out there? He's going all over the place. Oh, who was it? Is that Broussard? Yeah, Broussard. What did you do? <laughs> what? For tripping? Don't you... Yeah, he did trip. Why are you giving him a penalty for it? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, all I saw there was Broussard, like, head-butted one of the Hurricanes, went down, and he got a penalty for it. So, I, I don't know. Oh, oh God. Okay, luckily his own teammate blocked that. All right, Dominic Moore. Going to go for the shorthanded goal at the end of the third. Can he get it? All right, Dominic Moore, he waits. Fires in the net. Stemp the act. Oh, my God. <laughs> get out of here, Kenobin. That's not a penalty, is it? He was out of his crease. He's fair game. He's fair game when he's out of his crease. Good save, Lundquist. Don't let him get in the middle. Don't let them get in the middle. There you go, Stalzy. Dump it down, Stalzy. Get it out, Stempniak. There you go. Oh, go, Stempniak. Oh, I gotta pick it up, man. Come on, Stall. Keep him out. No last second shots. There you go, Boyle. Nice block. Stall, get it out. There we go. Yeah, no penalty. Oh, go, Malone! Nice play, Ryan Malone. Slap it. Oh, man, Ryan Malone. He's got the heart. So close there at the end. Whew. I thought he was going to get that goal, too. I thought that was going right over the shoulder. That would have been amazing at the end. Check the defender at the point. Going for the goal. It just wasn't, wasn't meant to be there. All right, so our passing percentage went up. Uh, shots 14 to 12. We were a little bit better that period offensively, but uh, four on three for a minute here in overtime. The ice is wide open. Hopefully they just keep doing this. Horizontal hockey. I'm not going to pressure them. I'll let them do their, their horizontal hockey. Let's play Girardi. Slow it down. Got plenty of ice to work with, Girardi. There you go. Go more. Come on. One on one. One on one. There you go. Backhand. Oh, there it is. Dominic Moore, the short-handed power, or the, I almost said short-handed power play goal, the short-handed overtime winner, and the New York Rangers move to a 3-2 and two record. First goal of the game, Dominic Moore goes through the entire Hurricane team, forehand backhand on Anton Kudobin, and wins the game at MSG, short-handed. There it is. What a game. No score, and then just a couple seconds in, or not a couple seconds, about a minute into overtime. Dominic Moore, the hero. Oh, look at that. Takes out the goalie. It's legal. It's legal. Right here, Dominic Moore, the hero. Oh, how did he slip that in there? Great job, Dominic Moore. one nothing is your final. That's the square garden. All right, so 52 coins, yeah. Take that to the bank. There's your final stats. 15 shots to 13. They saw 7-5. to five. Three stars of the game. There we go. Dominic Moore. Three shots. One goal. Henrik Lundqvist. 100. Or 100. Uh, yeah, I guess 100% save percentage. 15 saves. Dan already got the winning assist. Uh, summary. It's not, not much to look at there. But, um... But yeah, so we're now 3-2 and two in the series. We're on a two-game winning streak, so that's pretty good. Um, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next game.